I'm going to do a second episode of uh, I Can't Believe I'm Buying Vinyl Again. And just a little fo footnote about yesterday's uh, video. I didn't think I had any Hendrix albums, but uh, apparently I do. It was misfiled. So uh, you can scratch the CD I showed and uh, put this album in its place. So a few uh, recent finds are uh, Captain Fantastic and the Dirt Brown Cowboy by Elton John. And this thing is a gatefold, of course. And it came with some interesting stuff here. We have a poster, which is, uh, I can't undo here very quickly. It's of the cover, basically. So, I mean, it's, okay, we have a poster. And it has a uh, lyric, lyric booklet. And it came with this. It says, Liberty Wants Talent. And it's New Musical Express. June 17, 1987, and somebody stuck this in with the album, and it's got uh, a little cartoon with uh, Elton John involved in it, and it's got some information, it's like a little booklet, it's, well the cartoon goes right to the back, the back page, so that, uh, a little bonus somebody threw in, I guess, for uh, Elton John. And next up we got, uh, I'm going in the wrong order here, I got the albums. We got the best, not the best, the last of the Red Hot Burritos. And this is the Flying Burrito Brothers. And it has Chris Hillman, Rick Roberts, and Michael Clark. And uh, a host of others playing on this. And uh, this is a live album. And it has a little history of the Flying Burrito Brothers. <laughs> Flying Burrito Brothers inside. And it shows little pictures of everybody. So uh, that's uh, Last of the Red Hot Burritos. If I can spit it all out. Next we have a couple of country albums. We got Merle Haggard. And uh, this is live in Philadelphia. And it's called uh, The Fighting Side of Me. And that's Merle Haggard for sure. Next up we got Waylon Jennings Live. It's called Waylon Live. And it's got Good Hearted Woman. And uh, well, it's got House of the Rising Sun. Me and Bobby McGee, only the way Whalen could do it. Next up, we got a Canadian folk legend. We got Valdi. He put out quite a few albums, and on this album we have uh, Simple Life, which was a hit in Canada, and that's sort of basically what you get from Valdi. He's a kind of a folk, a folk, really a folk artist for sure. And he had another song called Gypsy Ways, which really sort of describes his lifestyle. And next up, we got another Canadian band. A blues band the powder blues band and this is a real cheesy cover but it's from the early 80s so uh, it fits right in I mean that's the cover of the album and it's called uh, it's called party line Ooh, boy. and next up I got this is one I never really I heard the band but I never heard anything by him and it's the incredible string band and this is from 1970 and it's a double album and uh, I listened to one album and uh, found it interesting and uh, when people say interesting I always think I don't think they really like it they're just kind of making believe that ah, there's a possibility but uh, didn't do anything for me the incredible string band and next up we got another well this is an obscure band they only put out one album and they're called Good Thunder and there wasn't much information on this band whatsoever they're kind of proggy for sure it was 1972 and uh, the only note is, is that the keyboard player went on to play with Steppenwolf for a brief period of time. That's about all I could find. And But I like the guitar player on here, and it is kind of proggy. They only did the one album. They got together, did an album, and broke up, like a lot of bands did. And it came with the, the Electra, it's on the Electra label, and it was produced by Paul Rothschild. And it had the original inner sleeve in it. And a lyric sheet. There's a lyric sheet in it. I don't think you have to see it. Next up, I had this in my album, my, my album collection. Yeah, I could put it that way. Many years ago, and I was looking for something different to listen to, which I always usually do. And this is Leon Redbone. And he's like vaudeville music and music from the 30s, 40s. Done in his own style. This was his, was his first album, and it's called... Uh, what the hell? I looked at it. On the Track. So uh, he's an oddity, but... Interesting, interesting. He um, immigrated to Canada at one point, so he was playing out of Toronto. This is another Canadian uh, country artist, Sneezy Waters. 
and uh, I had this album in my collection at one time many moons ago and he uh, did a show called Hank Williams the show I never gave and we we uh, went to see this play it was a play and this is the ticket stub from it we were uh, in row G seat number 10 and this was in Kingston Ontario so there's my ticket stub and uh, the basis of the uh, play was Muddy Water, Muddy Waters, oh my god, this is Sneezy Waters, not Muddy Waters. Uh, Sneezy Water plays the part of uh, Hank Williams and it's like if he made it to the show he was supposed to play the night he died, this is probably how the show went and as he played he got drunker and drunker and drunker so at the end of the play I think he's just barely standing up or maybe he's not, I can't remember now. And uh, for we got another, uh, oh, this is real cheesy cover. This is not, I was almost said, it's Freddie and the Dreamers, and it has a few of their hits on it. It's from 1979 reissue, and we'll look at that cover. Wow, I had to buy it just for the cover. It's got, uh, I'm telling you now, and I picked this up in a free bin that was outside a store, and it's by the Lime Lighters, and it features Glenn Yarborough. We had some hits later on, and uh, the album is absolutely perfect. It's from 1962. It doesn't look like anybody ever played it. If they did, it's only going to be played probably once by me. So uh, it was in a free bin. So that's it from my latest vinyl finds. I mean, I live in an area where there's just a little tiny record store, just part of another business. So uh, the choices aren't uh, numerous. Oh, I have one more. The album that came in the mail that, just a second, I don't usually do this. I don't usually uh, go off camera, but I did this time. This is uh, Elliot Smith, and it's called uh, From a Basement on the Hill, on a hill, the hill. Oh, man, I'm stumbling today. And this came in the mail just like this. It had shrink wrap on it and a sticker on it, and I had a video earlier on somewhere back there about that so so long